So I've made a few uh, modifications to my Tremuyi brick here. Um, it has a widescreen now. Um, you can, you know, you, it has more face buttons. It's a lot nicer. <laughs> I'm kidding. So the Tremuyi brick, I um, have done my best to kind of modify the software on it, or really configure the software. It, anyway, modify, mod's the cool term, right? Hacking, modding. <laughs> it's all the same thing. Anyway, so if you'd like to, or if you bought your Tremuyi brick without an SD card, then I've tried to make it as easy as possible to set this up where you can just go to um, my GitHub page, download my the GitHub repo, go up to the top right. I think it says like download or something. I'll put a link in the description, but click on the um, the the download the code and then download the zip file and then extract that zip file to your SD card. And then there's a few more instructions to extract, you know, a couple more files. And if I can automate that, I will. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm still new at this trying to get it to work, but it's a passion project for me. I'm not making money off this, not making money off the video or the software, none of that. So everything I have in here, I try to do creative commons, um, that, you know, non-commercial creative commons, so anyway, the just the link will be in the description. Um, that'll be to my GitHub. So this is, I call it another stock mix. I started with stock mix and then started modifying from there or tweaking, um, customizing from there. The stock mix they had a place for all the pictures for the background pictures, but for some reason they're all zero kilobytes when I extract it. So I don't know. I went and found a Bato Sarah theme, and it had cool background pictures. So I just kind of modified them up real quick and threw them in the background. So it just looks a little more professional, so to speak. All right, so what I have done, other than the background images, so see like the DOS box, DOS box is in there. For some reason, I think I think they just released this thing very unfinished and hope that people like me would come along and, you know, finish it for them. So the DOS box is in the software that they give you or the firmware, I guess you'd call it because it's on the device, but it's still just software because it's just a Linux operating system. Whatever. I'm rambling. DOS box. It works. Um, they probably just didn't put it on there that much because uh, most of these games are going to need a, a keyboard, but they work. I mean, I don't think that's copyrighted music. <laughs> or it might be copyrighted, but it all works. It all works. Um, oh, there's the mouse. So if you Bluetooth the mouse, I need to test. I bet you if we Bluetooth the mouse to it or Bluetooth the keyboard and mouse, you could probably get all this stuff working because it's just RetroArch running on Linux. Um, to get back, uh, I, I used to think you had to press these two buttons at the same time and you can, but it seems like you can just press this button too. And you go to the advanced menu that gets to your, uh, what do you call that? the retro arch and most of these customizations are from in retro retro arch uh you can exit the game there so other than dos box um i also there was a guy on reddit that or guy or girl person on reddit that um added a few more of these uh what do you call these things um yeah emulator capabilities they're they're really just linking to what's already in there um all right, so I don't like stretched aspect ratios. I like them to be the original. So when you play a GBA game on this, um, you'll see that it will, um, yeah. It'll have the black bar at the bottom here. So let's see if we can show that up. It might be all black. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the black bar will be at the bottom and everything will be pushed up to the top. I just like it that way. And if you don't like it, go to the advanced menu. You can change it. But I tried to make this an out-of-the-box experience, which was, you know, customized to just pick it up and go. Also, um, when you exit a game and you go back into a game, this is all retro art setup. It will automatically save and automatically resume. You can disable that if you want, but I'll let you figure out how to do that. The next thing that I wanted to talk about... Oh, easy RGB, RPG. It works. I just had to extract the folders. Don't know why. Also, um, most of these things will work with 7-zip files now. That was just a little small little tweak uh, that you can run 7-zip files. Game Boy is another uh, one of these that will show up um, with the correct aspect ratio. See, I got bars on the sides. So, no stretching. And... Let's talk about ooh, uh, ports. I don't know. 
I, I don't know how to get them to work. I'm going to figure that out. So since this is Creative Commons, um, since it's free, hopefully uh, Crossmix is also free. I Hopefully when they get theirs working, I will be able to kind of take and borrow and make this work. And then I will put that in the GitHub page if I get it working. So I do try to update that GitHub page. So there may be even more stuff um, after this video, but I wanted to release the video that sort of goes over what all what all is here. Um, the boot logo, if you want my little custom boot logo that says uh, another stock mix up there and it says brick and it has bricks on it and the girl running. <laughs> yeah, hey, thank you Microsoft Copilot for making a uh, fun little boot screen for us. <laughs> if you run this, it, it changes the boot screen. To get that boot screen back, um, you have to change, uh, you just rename a couple files, but I'll let you figure that out because if you are tinkering and you run this program and it changes it, I would rather you have my branding because my branding is cool. <laughs> Cooler than Trim UI who didn't finish programming the brick <laughs> anyway um the file manager led bat that's from someone else a lot of these are all from someone else a lot of these are from stock mix i don't think i've added i will probably add a few more apps that i find because reddit there's a few people on reddit that are adding those things um other than that i think that's a pretty good overview of you know what all is going on oh pico 8 i should talk about pico 8 uh, by default it has fake 08 and i didn't feel comfortable um, making it work like properly, quote unquote, with Pico 8, because that's copyrighted emulator software. They have some bat files. So if you know where to look, it's pretty easy to set up. Um, you know, you can do it the right way and go buy it. And if you don't go buy it, that's on you. Uh, either way, but Pico 8 works. Um, it, with a fake 08, it doesn't work that well. But with the Pico 8, there's instructions. I got instructions to set up Pico 8 in the uh, GitHub. So find find all this in the GitHub. Um, and yeah, so hope this helps. Hope this shows off. I hope you like it. If you like it, uh, give a thumbs up. Um, also comment and uh, also put a star on that GitHub. You know, show me. And you can even uh, write a uh, discussion in the GitHub, what you want, what you think would work. And I'll talk to you there. That'd be cool too. Um, yeah, so that's about it, and I hope you enjoy your day, and maybe we'll see you in the next one.